I'm very happy to have you with me. Two beautiful girls of All Innocent, both are members of Radaka Junior, for an interview at Radio Tele Solidarity. I'm going to start. Uh, both speak uh, Creole and both speak English perfectly. I'm going to start with Miriam. Mia, what can you tell us about you? Jennifer? Um, hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm 16. I've been in Radhika for six to five years. And as I've been in Radhika, I've grown and experienced in life. Hey, Miriam, could you please explain us your experience at a, as one of the members of Radhika Junior? Um, I have a, 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 a lot of experience. I get to know that I need to be able to Relationship with God, and that's what I do. Like I try to to get God into my life as much as I can. Um, I try to pray more often. So Brother Ka showed me that it's important to do those things. So yeah. Uh, Miriam, what can you tell us about uh, Doctor Farah, a the leader of Brother Ka Junior? Yeah, she she's a really good leader. She's she's really um, friendly. She's she really teaches us um, a lot of things that are really useful, not just in Radaka, things that we can still like, follow throughout life. And yeah. Jennifer? Farah is a very um, important person to Radaka Junior because she helps each and every one of us understand and every question that she had, that we have, she, even though she can't um, answer them completely, she still tries to give us some type of answer, and like, she's very interesting. What really motivates motivate you to be one of the members of Radaka Junior? Honestly, it, I heard of Radaka Junior from a friend of the Haitian choir, and as soon as I entered Radaka, I started to enjoy coming every Saturday. And you, uh, Miriam? Um, yeah, I, what was the question again? What really motivates motivate you to be one of the members of Radaka Junior? Um, what motivates me is um, the fact that I, um, every time I go to Radaka, I always, I always like feel happy to, to see all the things that um, Father is teaching us. And then, I don't know, it's a really good environment for me personally because I I feel like God wanted me to be there. So um, that's that's what motivates me because I feel like God wants me to be there and he wants me to follow um follow him. I know both speak a, a Creole. And Miriam. Well, Miriam, qui sont capable de nous de Père Pascal qui est pasteur par ça. Père Pascal sont vraiment <laughs> <laughs> but you can speak English if you Okay, thank yeah. you. He, he, he encourages me because I'm also so I'm Francais in the Islam. So I always say that I'm going to do a good job in the service of the Islam. Uh, do you have a visit for the youth of your generation or, or, or your, of your age? A message for the youth of your age? Um, 
I, I would like them to, to know that they should stay in school because school is important and they should build a relationship with God because God, I, God will tell them when they feel like they don't know what they're doing or they don't know what, what they should do in life, they should turn to God and they will find answers. And you, Jennifer? Well, I would encourage the youth to come to church more often because like, staying at home really isn't such a good idea. Like, God is everywhere and then if you come to church more often and you start to pray more, that God will be there for you more often you start to believe or that you will start to have more faith that God will love you no matter what and that, like, join your average youth groups because that could also help you build your faith. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Miriam, for agreeing to answer, uh, to answer my questions. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to do it.